All right, what is happening YouTube? So with a new home comes a new video setup. So you guys can enjoy this, but today we're going to be looking at a 2006 MacBook Pro. This is one of my mini laptops, as you may be able to tell there. I have quite a few laptops that uh, I do need to make videos on, but eventually, once one step at a time. So anyway, this is a 2006 MacBook Pro, one of the many laptops in my collection. I got this guy off eBay a few weeks ago for pretty much dirt cheap. I think I only paid, including shipping, like like 40, 50 bucks for it. I can't really remember, but I think it was somewhere around there because uh, I think I won the listing for like 25 bucks and then shipping was about the same. So I think I paid about 50 bucks for it. So here it is. I bought the listing for the computer, said it did not function. However, at the behest of my friend Colin Meester, um, also known as Dos Dude one here on YouTube, uh, under the behest of him, I decided to purchase it anyway because uh, he said that most likely it does work, and I turned out turns out he was right. In other words, so yeah, I don't. They just didn't include a power adapter with it, and they said that it doesn't turn on or something. And I just got the computer like this in a box, pretty much, and I plugged it in and it fired right up. There's no problems with it. I mean, I didn't even have to fix anything on it really. All the only thing that, well, I, my friend Chris actually did for me is repaste the machine because it was running kind of hot. But yeah, I mean, it's a fully working computer and I got it for a dirt cheap, so here it is. It's in pretty decent shape. It has a dent in the top and it also has a, dent, a similar dent in the palm rest. Um, being a, a, an 11-year-old computer, it's not in too bad a shape. There's no, like, super huge dents or scuffs or anything like that. Just some scratching here and there. Of course, this uh, card slot's still intact. Everything is pretty much still intact on it, so that's cool. I think even the battery still works, although it's kind of dead. But uh, yeah, some scratches on the bottom. Nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary for a computer of this age. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. We'll take a look at that. One thing I actually like about this machine, and you can immediately notice, is the glossy display, which is also how you're uh, seeing me right now. Hello. But, uh, yeah, I generally prefer glossy displays on laptops just because I feel like it makes the color more rich and stuff. So, yeah, a lot of the MacBook Pros, including my 17-inch that uh, I also have, has a matte display, and I'm just not a huge fan. So it's nice to see this one has a glossy display. I believe this might have been an option, or it's the other way around. The matte was the uh, the option and the glossy was standard. I'm pretty sure it's the the other way though. As you can see there's that dent. It's not too bad but uh, yeah this one doesn't have any missing keys uh, unlike my other MacBook Pro that I have but yeah other than that I mean I'm not exact I don't think this one has a backlit keyboard. I know my other one does but uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. We'll boot her up. It does have, you know, the uh, color splotching on the display. I'm not entirely sure if this is CCFL or LED, but you can see there's a lot of uh, discoloration and yellowing and uneven backlight on this thing. I'm not really... I just assume that's just due to the age of the machine and, uh, you know, the screen being old kind of doesn't help with that. But, yeah, it's not too pretty, but you kind of can't really tell too much on camera. I mean kind of see this region is a little bit darker but it's a lot worse in person anyway oh this one does have the backlit keyboard okay cool so yeah that's cool let's go ahead and take a look at the specs I know it's a 2006 I'm not entirely sure what uh, which one it is of course this is running a 10.7 I decided to just be different because the other MacBook Pro is running El Capitan and my other two MacBook Pros modern ones are running High Sierra so I decided to be a little bit different and put uh, OS X Lion on this guy. So this is a 15 inch. It doesn't tell me exactly what, um, if it's like a mid or a late 2006. I'm pretty sure this is a mid 2006 though. This one is actually the higher end 2.16 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. So it's not a Core Duo, so it's a little bit more useful. It only has two gigs of RAM, but I mean, it's all right. I, I'm not. I don't use this computer much, so. Don't really need, you know, a lot of RAM, although 4 gigs would be nice in this thing. Has an Radeon X1600, 128 meg, dedicated graphics. 
And I believe it has 120, or no, I think this one has, yeah, a 320 gig uh, hard drive in it. And I believe it's like a Scorpio Black, so it's actually a pretty good drive. I open, I, I can't remember if I opened this up or I think Chris did and showed me that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It does have Wi-Fi and everything, you know, Apple computers were pretty ahead of the time, even having like 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi back then and stuff, and support for like wireless N, but uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, I can't really show you much, I guess I can go on the interwebs real quick, to show you that it still does that, uh, oh, SMC fan control, alright, well, then I can type in uh, no, 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 we're going to go with a meme this time. Let's go with Tide Pods, because that seems to be the newest thing on the internet right now. There you go, and there's Donald Trump. So, as you can see, the internet is fully functional. I mean, yeah, other than that, I can't really show you much on here, because I don't have any applications installed, really. I think I have coconut battery on here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it, because that's pretty much the only other interesting thing I have. Pop that open. The battery, I think, is uh, kind of screwed up on this, as you might be able to tell. So, uh, I mean, it is what it is. It's a very old MacBook. I think this might get a little bit better once you charge it up, but yeah, the battery is not doing too hot on this. Let's take a look at the battery age. So, it's from May of 2008, so not too great. And the computer is from November of 2006, so it's already been changed. And this one only has 201 cycles, and it's still kind of... Uh, screwed I guess is the word so yeah that's that I actually had the other battery in my 2008 explode on me because that seems to be common with these anyway other than that I think the video has gone on for long enough I've rambled enough about this little computer so we go ahead and shut her down and end the video so hope you enjoyed this little uh, ramble slash overview of this 2006 MacBook Pro and I would like to thank you guys for watching the video and see you in the next one.